Hey everybody, Happy New Year, hope you're all well. Today I want to talk a little bit about Super 8 focal lengths, crop factors and wide converters. Now I had split this video into two parts, mainly for my own sanity because it does get a little bit of mathematical, but it did make more sense just to isolate them slightly. So if you want to find out a little bit more about what I've discovered about Y converters, then stay tuned to the next video and we can have a chat about it. Basically, the question that I want to answer today is what is the multiplier or the crop factor of the Super 8 camera relative to a full frame 35mm sensor or camera? What do I mean by full frame 35mm if you're new to photography or to film? Basically, the full frame 35 refers to the size of the film back or the sensor in that camera. So you were talking about your Canon 5Ds, um, other brands exist also, uh, but also your regular TV and film cameras. So whenever you someone talks to you about 24mm lenses or 50mm lenses, that, that's what they're relative to. That means the numbers on your Super 8 camera are not the same as in a regular camera. So from someone like myself coming from a film background, both professionally in visual effects, but also as an amateur filmmaker, um, I wanted to know how to set my 35mm brain into a Super 8 camera. So I started doing a little bit of exploring and I found some quite basic maths. Now I'm gonna show you basically the, the sum you need to do to, to get the answers to those questions. Now, I'm just gonna jump onto my iPad real quick because um, I've set myself up in Procreate. Now, basically, the math that you're seeing on the screen now is the crop factors to get from Super 8 to full frame 35 and vice versa. Now, the first number I wanna talk to you about is this 6.2 here. So that is, for me, what I'd consider the main crop factor. And what I mean by that is, if I take the whatever lens I've set on my Super 8 camera and I times that by 6.2, it will give me my full frame 35 millimeter equivalent. Now, this number didn't just come out of nowhere. The comment or the, the post that I discovered explained it in a little bit better detail than I'm going to now, but basically it takes the width of the 35 mil film, which is 36 millimeters, and then it divides it by the uh, film back of the Super 8, which is 5.7 millimeters, and that gives us our crop factor of 6.2. Now, what this sum um, alone enabled me to do was actually work out the range of lens that I've got on my Canon 814 here. So to, to do the simple maths now and some examples that I set up from earlier on is if I take the widest I've got here, 7.5 times 6.2, that gives me 46.5 millimeters. Now that's actually not that wide. Um, it's obviously closer to your 50 mil, which is what you do to frame up a person. I expect it actually to be a lot wider, especially with 7.5 being, you know, suggestively as, as wide as it is. But on the other end of that, if I take my upper end, which is 60 mil and times that by minus 6.2, that gives us a whopping 372 millimeters. That's a long lens, a really long lens, and I was actually really pleasantly surprised by that. But straight away, this, this sum has already helped me quite a lot. So, just gonna clear my palette. What I wanted to do next was actually find an easy multiplier that I could take and use with um, my desired full frame 35. So if I say, hey, I want a 50 mil lens on my Super 8 camera, how do I do that? I came up with this number, 0.16, and again, that number doesn't come out of nowhere, and basically, that number comes from taking the result of my 7.5 mil lens, which is the widest, and divide that by its full frame equivalent, which was 46. And then that gives me my 0.16. Now that means I can take any full frame 35 sensor lens, 
times that by 0.16 and it will tell me what I need to set my Super 8 camera at. In this case, an example I came up with earlier is if I want a 50mm lens and I times that by 0.16, that tells me I need to set my Super 8 camera at 8mm. Really helpful. Now, what I have done to make my life a little bit easier is actually I, I cut off a little label, sticky, they're actually sticky dots that I've had to cut down. Um, but I've stuck them on my lens so I have a quick go-to guide. And I don't have to um, do them on the fly. But then also what it did sort of enlighten me into is is how do I get wider than that? I want a, I want a wider lens. So I want a, an equivalent of a 24 or a, or a 35. And obviously the maths I did earlier on tell me that I can't do that unless I have a wide converter. Now obviously I did split this up into two videos, so if you want to hear what I have to say about these, then stay tuned and we'll dive right in. 